Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about create context and how to use that context in our application. So we're going to be passing state around from a global level and it's not going to be passed through props. So as an example here, I'm in my dashboard component and I'm referencing username, which is being pulled from a, a context. And then I've also got a user profile, which has got no props. And if I come over here and we can click on a button, that's going to update our context and that is going to change our dashboard. So over here, we've got Chris. And if I change the user, I'm going to change over to Andy. And as I said, we you know nothing's happening between this, these two. It's all happening within the context. OK, so if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you know somewhat about React State and how it how it manages it. Now, the problem that we've got with React State is it's great for small applications, but when it starts having the nest into multiple components, it's, it becomes really tricky. So we use something called use context. And that is where we can set state get, that can be managed on a whole application level. So I don't have to keep on passing the state from one component to the next component to the next component to the next component. I can literally just um, grab it from the bottom level component, access the use context, and then reference it. And it, it'll update the rest of my components if, if needs be. So enough talking. Let's just jump in and kind of give you a quick demonstration as to you know one of the problems that could arise with, with state. I'm going to go ahead and imp uh, let's declare some state actually. Let's say user and set user is equal to use state. And it's just gone ahead and imported that for me on with my auto import. And I'm just going to give it some default state here. I'm just going to say name is equal to Chris. So this is fine, you know, and if, if I wanted to render user.name over here, I could save this and my application will just just work now if i wanted to pass you know user down into the dashboard i'd have to say user is equal to user save that come over to my dashboard i could probably deconstruct my my, my you know my, my props and say i want just the user from my props um, and then add a paragraph tag and then again do the same so say user.name save and now we've got user.name being rendered in my dashboard. Now, what happens if I add like another component here? So another comp, um, and then I wanted to pass user down into this. As you can imagine, you know, it starts getting a little bit messy with having to pass in, you know, state all over the place. So what I want to do is I want to set up some use context. So let's um, go over to app.js and remove uh, all of these references. Great. And what I'm going to do to start with is create a folder. That folder is going to be called uh, context. And then I'm going to create a file within that and I'm going to call it user context. I'm calling it user context because we're going to be setting a user. You could have an auth context, you could have a, a theme context, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. And then to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a context. So I'm going to say import create context from React. And then that's not what I wanted. There we go. And then I want to export a const and I say user context. A note I'm naming this the same as the file name. And then I want that to be equal to that create context that we've just imported. Oh, that's not right. Export. There we go. So now we've got a user context, which is equal to the create context. And then I want to create a provider. So I want to provide the content back to the rest of the application. So I'm going to say user provider is equal to a function and I want to return something. So I'm going to return what we've got up here, which is user context. Um, actually, let's just add that on and dot provider. So up here where we declared the create context, I just want to create a component, which is a called provider and I want to return user context dot provider. And then if I save this and come over to my app, I basically want to wrap this user provider around everything that I want the rest of the application to have, you know, whichever whichever component I want to have access to the global state. So I'm going to say user provider here and then save that. So it's already gone ahead and automatically imported it. So user provider is just coming from context, user context over here. Now, as you can see, that our application just disappeared. And that is because we've put these children in between user provider, but we've not actually referenced that. So if I come over to user context, 
we can see that we've got nothing in between here. If I said, um, hello, and reload, what we should have is hello. Now, because we've got that access to our as props, we can take in the props and we can say render props.children. Reload and we get all of our components because we've passed everything, as I say, between this uh, user provider is getting passed in as a prop to user provider and then we can just handle it. And because obviously we've got props.children, we can just deconstruct this, we can say children and then remove props. Fantastic. So now we are at a point where we've got our context created. We've got it imported from React. We've created our provider and we've wrapped our components in that provider. Now, how do we get access to state? And what we can do here is on the user.provider component, I can say value is equal to and then pass it some value. So I'd say this is my default value. Save that. And now if I reload, we see that we, nothing's happening. That's because we've done nothing with this value. So I'm going to come over to dashboard. And what I want to do is I want to use this context. So we've wrapped the application in it, but we're not actually consuming it. We're not actually doing anything with it anywhere. So I'm going to go to dashboard. I'm going to go up and I'm going to import from React use context. It's just you to code, code being clever again. So I've got I've imported use context and I also need to tell it the context that I want you to import. So I'm going to say import user context. Oh my God. Import user context and use context. I, I probably should have named them slightly different. This user context is our context that we've just created, which is up here. And this use context is from React. So now what I can do is I can knock down a couple of lines and I can say const value is equal to use context and then just pass in the context that we want to use which is in this case our user context save this and now within our dashboard we've got access to the value so i can just say p open and close some curly brackets and just put value in there save that come over here and, re and reload and we get this is my def default value if i change this you know have some exclamation marks say save reload we get those exclamation marks so what's happening here is dashboard it's got nothing to do with app or anything like that it's 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 just reaching into the user context and it's just grabbing the value which has been passed down here and you might be going well that's great that's and that's exciting you know we've got some default value now but i want to pass in a user how, how can i make sure that my application is is reaching you know my, my user so what we can do is i can on my user context I, I can just say let's declare a user so i'm going to say const user and set user is equal to let's use state use state and let's give it some default state. So I'm going to say name is Chris and um, gender is male. Okay. Now what I can do is save this and I can scrub out everything in between value and I can pass in a within curly brackets I am now in JavaScript world and I can pass in something here. So I want to pass in an object. And that object is going to contain the user and set user. We're going to save that. And now it may end up breaking over here because obviously we're doing, um, we're not handling that on the other side. So we've got user and set user going down as our state. So if I come over to our dashboard where we've got the, um, the use context and user context. So we're reaching into user context. We're obviously not, we haven't got a value now. We've got an object. So I want to take off the user and the set user that we've just declared. And let's just delete this value for a second. Make sure that we get no errors. Okay, failed to compile. compile. Um, user has already been declared. Okay, and that is because we've left in user in our props. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Save and reload. Okay, so we've got no errors. So we know that we're grabbing our user and our set user from our context. 
and now what I can do is I can go user dot name and just render that and we get Chris I'll come back over to my use context and say Chris reload fantastic now what we can also do though is because we've declared set state uh, set user over here and we've, we've got that as our state and we're passing that down as a value we can also create a button to change the user and that doesn't have to happen within the dashboard here but let's just create a button quickly and say button and um, change the user and on the click so I'm going to say on click do something so let's just do it um, in line here I want to set user because we've pulled off user here and I'm going to say um, what was it name and call it Andy and uh, I think we, I think we said gender didn't we and say mail save reload over here and if I change the user what this is going to do is it's going to change to Andy as you can see but it's doing it at our context level because we've we've passed in this set user from the context I suppose just to demonstrate that a little bit further and to just to kind of re repeat those steps what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this this button and the set user from here and I'm saying I just want the user from the use context reload this and we've got Chris fine because that's our default state I'm going to create another component so let's just go into our source create a new file let's say this is our user profile for what you know whatever reason and I'm going to uh, const user profile is equal to have I spelled that right you know when you look at something and it just looks wrong yep uh, user profile and then return a p with you know what let's wrap this in a div and in here what I want to do is I you know what let's just render this first so user profile export this export default user profile save and in the dashboard I want to render user profile save that so that's gone ahead and just automatically imported it from our user profile so if I reload this over here we should have and the user's profile great so we've got another component and we don't have to pass anything down we don't have to you know say set user is equal to set user uh, and pull it off from the use context what we can do is we can just go into our user user profile and we can just set up like we just did a second ago with the context so I'm going to save this and go over to into my user profile same as before import use context because we want to use the context from react and then I want to import the user context Uh, from the context because we want to use context from react but we want to tell it that this is our context that we are using which is ours over here and then I'm going to say const set user is equal to use context our user context and now we can just paste in that button that we had earlier which is on click change the user so that's going to change the user to Andy and we, we haven't even used gender so let's just delete that and change it to Andy and note that we've not you know we're not in this application uh, not in this component we're in a different component and it's going to update another component and they, those who are not attached so save this reload so we've got our change the user we click on that and Andy gets updated in a completely different component which is our dashboard these two are not passing state between the two of them so that's been a real quick crash course in um, use context and creating context i hope it makes sense if you do have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below as always but until next time take it easy